One of the magma reservoirs beneath the Yellowstone caldera, a massive crater and supervolcano, holds more molten molten rock than scientists previously thought, according to new research published Thursday in the journal Science. The amount of molten rock beneath a volcano helps researchers determine how close the volcano is to an eruption. While there may be more liquid magma beneath Yellowstone than scientists thought, it's unlikely the giant mountain will erupt anytime soon. Magma consists of rocks and crystals with varying degrees of density. The more fluid or molten a magma is, the more likely a volcano is to erupt. Two large reservoirs full of magma exist beneath the Yellowstone caldera. One reservoir is about 3 to 10 miles below the surface, and another is 12 to 30 miles underground. Based on previous research, scientists thought the shallower reservoir was mostly solid, with only 5 to 15 percent of the rock melted. But now, after using advanced supercomputers to reanalyze existing seismic data from the last 20 years, they believe the proportion is actually 16 to 20 percent. This amount is still far below the threshold of liquid magma, around 35 to 50 percent, that scientists believe would trigger an eruption. While the new findings don't change the level of volcanic risk, they represent a major improvement in our ability to understand what's beneath Yellowstone, said Kerry Cooper, an Earth and planetary scientist at the University of California, Davis, who was not involved in the research this. Involved in the research, told new scientists James Deneen. Earth has not created more liquid magma. Instead, scientists say they now have a more accurate understanding of what's already there. It's like getting a new lens on an old camera, said Michael Poland, a research geophysicist and scientist in charge of the Geological Survey's Yellowstone Volcano Observatory. USA, who was not involved in the research, told the New York Times' Robin George Andrews. The camera is the same, but now the resolution is better. You see more clearly. Yellowstone Supervolcano, located in northwestern Wyoming in Yellowstone National Park, is one of the largest volcanoes in the world. The mountain has erupted several times over the past 2.1 million years, including three large eruptions that covered the surrounding landscape in ash. The Yellowstone caldera, which stretches 30 by 45 miles wide, was formed during one such eruption about 631,000 years ago. Seismic waves produced by earthquakes must pass through layers of material inside the Earth before reaching seismometers on the surface. The waves slow down when they reach molten rock, so researchers can use the time it takes to reach the seismometer to gain insight into how much magma is underground. The previous analysis assumed that seismic waves radiate linearly from the earthquake towards the seismometer. But the reality of their journey is much more different than that. 
This time, the supercomputer modeled the seismic waves in three dimensions, which gave scientists a more complete picture of the crystal slurry beneath Yellowstone. 